man, Exodus, uh, the eighth chapter, verses six through nine. When you have it, won't you say, amen. Amen. I'll be reading from the NIV version. It says there, so Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land. But the magicians did the same things by their secret arts. They also made frogs come up on the land of Egypt. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Pray to the Lord to take the frogs away from me and my people, and I will let your people go to offer sacrifices to the Lord. Moses said to Pharaoh, I leave to you the honor of setting the time for me to pray for you and your officials and your people to take you and your houses may be rid of the frogs, except for those that remain in the Nile. Tomorrow, Pharaoh said, Moses replied, it will be as you say, so that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. Living, the frogs will leave you and your houses, your officials and your people. They will remain only in the now. Amen. I want to preach just a little while with your prayers, but more importantly, God's presence from the subject, you can kiss it goodbye. Look at your neighbor next to you and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, you can kiss it goodbye. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you can kiss it goodbye. The Brothers Grimm, who have composited a series of fairy tales, have one such account entitled The Frog Prince. Uh, in this story of mythic proportion, it starts out with three daughters who are daughters of the king. Uh, and in the domain of the courtyard of the king, there is a well. And in this well is the purest water of all the water in the kingdom. One day, the eldest sister, during a hot and blistery day, ran to the well to cool her palate. And as she got to the well, she pushed down the pitcher and pulled it back up. She looked closely and noticed that the well was, in fact, cloudy. And as she's trying to figure out why is this water cloudy when it is supposed to be the clearest water in all of the land, she looks even closer, and she sees that there is a frog in the water. The frog, much to her surprise, said that if you kiss me and make me your lover, I will turn this cloudy water in to clear. The eldest sister immediately threw the pail down and ran off and said, I would rather go thirsty than to kiss a nasty frog. She ran back to her house and began to alert and apprise her sisters about what had happened. And so now here comes the middle sister trying to figure out where it is, whether or not her oldest sister is playing a game on her. She too put the, the pitcher down the well, brought the pitcher back up, and also noticed that the water was cloudy. When she looked even closer, she saw the exact same frog, and the exact same frog said the exact same thing, if you kiss me and make me your lover. I will turn this cloudy water in to clear. Uh, the middle sister said, I, I will not kiss a nasty and a grimy frog. I would rather go parched and find myself thirsty than to have to date and to kiss something that's less than me. She ran off back to the house and she began to tell her other sister about what had happened. At night, as nighttime began to fall upon the kingdom, the youngest sister and obviously the most naive tiptoed down to the well because she wanted to see whether or not her elder sisters were playing a game on her, pulled the pitcher down and brought it back up, and she too noticed that the water was in fact cloudy. She looked closely and saw the frog, and the frog said to her, I've got the power to turn this cloudy water into clear if you would just kiss me and make me your lover. And the youngest sister, who was always overlooked, the youngest sister who never got any attention, the youngest sister who was begging for affection said, I'll make the compromise. I'll kiss the frog.